Question number 9. The population growth of a colony of bacteria was recorded at intervals of 5 seconds as shown in the table below. So here we have time in seconds from 0 to 25 then the number of bacteria. So here is the graph. So the question is, uh, so on the grid, part A, on the grid provided, draw a graph of the population of bacteria against time, it is drawn there. Then B, use the graph to determine correct to two decimal places the average rate of change of the population of bacteria between t is equals to 5 seconds and t is equals to 20 seconds. So let's go to uh, the first question, drawing. This is just a matter of plotting. So you're going to plot population uh, bacteria against time. So the first one is um, t is equals to 0, number of bacteria is 5. So we plot that. So 0 is here, 5 is here. So that is the first plot, then 5, 7. The second one is 5, 7. 5, 7. So we have 5. Then we have 6, 7. Supposed to be there. Then the other one is 10, 11. 10, 11. So 10, 11 is here. So 11 is here. Then 15. The next one is 15, 16. So 15, 16. So you have 15. Then 16 is here. Then the other one is 20, 24. 20, 24. So we have 20 is here. Then you go up up to where you have 24. This is 24 is here. And then the last one is 25, 36. 25. This is 35, 36. So that is uh, what you're supposed to. Well, so we join this one using a smooth curve. you plotted it so that is just uh, what was required there ensure that all these are uh, the graph is passing through all these points that you have plotted here show that the graph is passing through those points now after plotting you go to the next question use the graph to determine correct two decimal places the average rate of change of the population of bacteria between t is equals to 5 and t is equals to 20. Now we've plotted. Now what is the question asking the average rate of change? Uh, the average rate of change will be given by the change of the population uh, from t is equals to 5 yeah, to t is equals to 20. So there's something that I'm going to draw here uh, to help us uh, work out this. So we have to join, first of all. So the average rate of change from t is equals to 5, is this point, to t is equals to 10, will be given by the change so let me write it here so average rate of change will be given by change of the population change in population over the change the change in time between t is equals to 5 and t is equals to 20. In simple terms, yeah, the average rate of change is simply requiring you to calculate the gradient. The gradient of these 
line that you've drawn here from t is equals to 5 to t is equals to 20. And how do you get gradient? Gradient is given by change in y, which in this case, change in y is what we have here. It is the change of population from this point to this point. You can see from this point to this point over the change in x. This is how we get the gradient change in x. And now, in this case, uh, x is time from 5 to 20. So this is what you're supposed to do. Uh, so the change, the average rate of change will be given by the change in uh, population uh, when t is equals to 5. When t is equals to 5, we need to get that. So when t is equals to 5, the population of the number of bacteria is given by what? The number of bacteria is given by 7. Then when uh, t is equals to 20, uh, the number of bacteria is 24. From the graph you see that t is equals to 20 you notice this is 24 24 is here then when t is equals to 5 number of bacteria is 7 so the average rate of change now this is what you're going to do it I'm very fast so we shall get a change in population change in population is uh, from we're going to take uh, 24 subtract 7 that will give us the change the displacement in this case this will be the displacement here in y the displacement it is from 7 to 24 so you just take 24 subtract 7 then the change in time it is from 20 from 5 to 20 from 5 to 20 how many what is the displacement there the displacement is given by 20 subtract 5 and this will give um, 15 and uh, when you when you work out these 17 divided by 15 you will get your card to give it correctly two decimal places don't forget these you give uh, one point one three and this change represents bacteria per second bacteria per second so that is how you're supposed to solve that question